and uh, <laughs> it's an honor to talk to you. So thank you so much for doing this. Oh truly. my gosh, thank you for inviting me. This is so special. I'm so happy to celebrate Wicked. I can't believe it. it's been 20 years on Broadway. I know. It's crazy. It's got, we got a lot of fun events coming too, which will be fun. So oh, good. It's, it's very special, but, but how's, how's the show over there? The show is great. We are having the absolute best time. I'm so, I just feel really lucky to be a part of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. If you happen to get a chance to come see us, it's, it's a really special thing. And, um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. just kind of a magical little Sondheim revival. That I, I, love get to do. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, all right, <laughs> let's dive into some really fun Glinda questions. <laughs> sure. All right. So do you remember when you got the call that landed you this role? And can you explain that? Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember getting the call for the audition. I was, I had just finished, I was on tour for, I had just finished being on tour for Light and Piazza. And I was coming back to the city and I just for a brief, I don't, I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was in the city or I was still on tour. I can't remember, but I came in for my auditions and ended up getting a call back and you know the of the process and then i found out that i got it um gosh where was i, I think actually what's crazy is i think that my family happened to be in town visiting in new york when i found out that i got it and um, i had just i had a i had my final audition with you know the full creative team and with joe and um david stone and i mean it was the full deal. It was kind of earlier days back then too. It was like 2007, 2007 mm -hmm. when I, when I booked the tour and then I did the tour and then I went straight to Broadway and then I went back on the tour. I mean, you read the whole thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I remember, I remember that I was in New York with my family. I think it was right around my birthday. It was like wow. the, the greatest birthday gift. Yeah. Ever. I'll say that's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. wow oh really my God. It was like a long time ago. I had to think about what was going on then when I. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so special. And also to like celebrate it with your family too. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, so with that being said, what was your like first experience with Wicked? Since it was so early on in the process, had you seen it? Who was your first Glinda at that point? Yes. So I was visiting the city. I was in New York for like a summer study in school. I was still in college. Um, I was about to finish and I was doing this summer study and I, I got the opportunity to get tickets. Mm -hmm. And so I, I went um, the day after Tony's and everybody was out. I mean, I, I hate to say that, but there were a lot of people not in the show. So I saw a lot of covers. Yeah. So Eden Espinosa was my first alphabet that I ever saw. Wow. And um, yeah, it was, um, it was amazing. Yeah. And I will never forget it. I was in house seats. I had like a connection to the show. So I was in house seats. I had these gorgeous, and I'd never seen a show from that up close. Yes. And you know how all the things, the mm -hmm. streamers come out and all the things. <laughs> And I just was weep. I remember just I, like as we all did at the end of Defying Gravity and at, in, at an omission, just like having to like, fix my face before <laughs> before the house lights came up. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was my first time seeing it. And then honestly, I didn't really see it again until I was in it. That's amazing. And well, how special too, also. Wow. Ugh. And it's funny because Eden was just with us last time we did this, so that's kind of a cool. Little... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so then, so that kind of explains it. Uh, the next question was, who was your first Elphaba? And, and so that worked, that worked really well. Um, but when it comes to your first time doing the show, who was your first Elphaba with you on the road? I had Carmen Cusack on the road for the first year. And then I had Donna Vivino for the second contract. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, Carmen Cusack. I know it's a deep, that's a deep cut. I don't know if any of you guys got to see us. That was back in 2007 and she only did, she did Chicago. She covered on in Chicago and she did the tour. Yeah. You guys are all powerhouses doing all of, all of it. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, I, and I was on the tour for like nine months and it's truly like, it's another beast. It's also beautiful, but you really like build those connections, but specifically the two witches, you guys like really are just together forever. It's amazing. Yeah. For Sure. Yeah, I know some of my closest friendships are my alphabets. Yeah, that's how it always goes. I love it. But. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next question here. Um, what was it like descending in the bubble and seeing the audience for the first time? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that is just indescribable. I mean, it is such an epic entrance anyway. And I, I was, I'm a little afraid of heights, but I just remember our head carpenter on tour was so sweet and like gentle about easing me into it during the rehearsal process and letting me get used to how that feels. And, um, yeah, it's just such the craziest feeling to come down and have that whole entrance. Um, I was so nervous and shaky and you're just kind of hung up in midair waiting for your entrance and yes, Hartford 2007. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's what it was. Thank you. G tool. Um, yeah, I had so many nerves. I was shaking. I was just, it was like all this like deep breathing, trying to calm myself down and not hyperventilate. Right. Um, but it's such a yeah. high. Yes. Oh, so cool. Uh, it's such a, so a cool moment. It's like such an iconic thing to look at. I was trying, full disclosure, I was trying to get some bubbles going in the intros ah. here, but maybe I'm, but it's always fun to see the bubbles and like in the beginning of the show, I kind of like walk them out of my face too. So it's, yeah, it's a beautiful, sure. beautiful moment. Um, but so Glinda is this huge, huge role. Everyone loves her, very iconic too, you know, Wizard of Oz and, um, but there are a handful of all of you who've played it um, and everyone has kind of lessons that they take from it. So if, is there any lessons from your time with Wicked that the role or the show has given you that you carry with you today? Oh my gosh. I learned almost everything in my time with Wicked. I mean, I was with the show for so long. I think like as a young actress, it was such a, I feel so privileged that I got to really cut my teeth as an actress on that show and in that material. I, I mean, I think everything, it's, it's a heavy lift too. It's a big scene and it's a, it's a big show physically for, mm -hmm. I, I found Glinda to be. So I got, I, I think everything else from that feels like easier. I, I don't know. I learned a lot of lessons as Glinda and as an actress playing Glinda. So I, I just feel like I, <clears throat> I got tougher. I got stronger on that show. Some of my best friendships are from that show. I learned how to work with other people and learned other people how to navigate other people's working yeah. styles. Mm -hmm. I mean, Alphabet and Glinda are so closely connected, so you really never know. And Alphabet is such a huge, um, stressful vocal, uh, you know, acrobatic thing to do every night. That I, every woman would approach that challenge differently, and learning how to come alongside them and support them was always a real interesting thing to navigate. And sometimes I did that well and sometimes I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I learned a lot about myself as, an, as a performer, as an actress and as a friend. Absolutely, that's beautiful. Very well yeah. said too. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so moving right along here. Um, why do you think Wicked is so impactful after 20 years and what about the show is so special and resonates with people. Oh my, oh my gosh, I, it's, the music is so incredible. The story is so beautifully crafted. And then it's still, after 20 years, it, it is, it, people take it in, it's impactful. Mm -hmm. it, people still feel like they get something out of the show. I, um, yeah, I am, uh, I'm not surprised that it's lasted this long. I still, I mean, when I hear that friends are in it, I think so. Jo um, John Dossett and his wife yeah. are the wizard and the um, and Morble, and I'm dying to get over to see them. And I really tried. I really wanted to take my oldest daughter to go as for her first Broadway show to see the two of them, but it just uh -huh. got so crazy around here that I wasn't able to go. But they, I every time I have friends like that in the show that are good friends, I'm like I get excited to go see it again because it is just it's so good. It has, yeah. it's aged beautifully. <laughs> sure, right. Absolutely. I feel like it, there's always some something for anyone who sees it, right? Like whether or not you're a musical theater person or not, you can go and take oh something gosh. away from it and you're connected yes. to something or someone. Yeah. But, yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's and, so you know, true. And John and Michelle are incredible. Working with them are so fun. And it's oh. like a great thing they got going right now too. Oh, oh they're gosh. beautiful. Gosh. Really they are so, y'all are so lucky to have them in there right now. It's good. It's a good group. I, I am a little biased, but it is a fun group. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. good. I'm so glad. It seems like a really happy, happy group over there right now. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to be at the 20th anniversary show. I'm so sad to tell you that. Well, you got um, stuff going on. That's okay. <laughs> I know, but it, it's, it's on a night off for me, but my best friend is making his 
Carnegie Hall debut. Oh, um, yeah. He's but he's um, Leah Michelle's music director, so I'm going to his concert, and I I didn't even think about the fact that it would conflict with the yeah. 20th anniversary show. I'm so sorry no. I miss it. No, but we'll be sending good vibes to where that's exciting. Congratulations. To him. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank have, you. Have the best time. And so, okay, we got one final more question here, yes. and then I'll let you. I won't take more of your time here, but. In real life, would you consider yourself a more Glinda person or an Alpha mm. Core person? Mm. I think a, a Glinda for sure. I I think that she's so. <laughs> I think she learns things the hard way. I've always said that. I think her story is so great because she's very flawed, and it's easy to see that she has a lot to learn and she has a lot of growing to do. And I always felt that as a as an actress and as a human being, just. Mm -hmm. Um, but she does, what's so beautiful about her is that she learns it and she does grow and she does become better and stronger and a better friend. And um, I love, I love her trajectory in the story. And I also think that she's, you know, she, I, I think one of the flawed things about her is that she wants to be liked and she wants <laughs> everybody to love her. And I think I have that too. <laughs> I want everybody to be my friend. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I really connect with, with her that in that way, in almost probably every way. <laughs> I love, I, I love playing Glinda. Oh, that's perfect. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so, so much for doing this and happy 20th to you as well. Like this is, oh exciting moment and I'm so happy we get to celebrate even virtually so that's amazing yes um, oh thanks for thinking to have me yeah. I'm so I've been looking for ways to be able to celebrate because I can't actually be there on the night but I am so so happy to have been part of the legacy yes uh, and I, an iconic one you are so thank you oh, again thank for this you. For everyone watching if you want to follow uh, Katie's journey I believe your handles at Katie Rose Clark mm -hmm. right so you can just check her out. She's got a lot of fun stuff going on. And so we do have a lot of her friends too. So we'll see you soon. And thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you.